All right, year in and year out, you can count on every Portland Deering boys basketball game having a big impact on the standings. And this year, no different, both near the top of the standings. In a tournament-sized crowd at the Expo for this matchup tonight, Portland grabbed control early on. Clay Hardy for three, 36-18 Bulldogs in the second quarter. No easy hoops for Raphael Salamone, inside for two, but Bulldogs had a 16-point lead at the break. In the third, Teron Moss, NBA range three, he had 16. Then when Portland missed its threes, they were opportunistic. Hardy, the sweet tip in. Griffin Foley, working baseline. The stop, start, he had 20 to lead the way. Deering, 44 points in this one. 18 points below its season average as a team, despite this great shot from Manny Chikuta. Charles Lyle, rebounding a defense. Monster tonight, this great outlet to Foley. 63-44, Portland wins. They have Chevrolet on Friday. Southern B Boys matchup. Number two seeded Yarmouth, number three Wells heading into the evening. Clippers came out strong. Nolan Haggerty, the pick and roll to Alexander Medenica. He had 19. Other way, DeAndre Woods, the nice runner, 20 for the Warriors. Clippers getting contributions from all over them. Noah Eckersley Ray on the glass. He had 19. Then Haggerty sizing up the D. You can't give Nolan Haggerty baseline or bad things are going to happen. Whoa, flush in traffic. John Toma getting in the scoring column from downtown too. 91-63, Yarmouth with the road win. NYA trying to end a 15-game losing streak to Wayne Fleet. Panthers going inside to freshman Teandre King in the third. He had 12, or 13 that is. NYA takes the lead. They add to it. Jake Malcolm, a tough shot. The pull-up, nothing but net. End of the third, though, Wayne Fleet draws closer. Christian Brooks, Brooks, that is, just beats the buzzer. 30 to 26, NYA going into the fourth. Some nice passing. John Verano finishes. Wayne Fleet's down just two. But it was good to be the king tonight. Teandre King again, 41-37, NYA's first win against its rival since 2009. Madison with just one loss at Monmouth in a Class C matchup up north. Madison leading by 11 in the fourth. Nick Morales, a nice dribble move for the swish. Pass of the night, Sean Whalen. No look to Max Shibley for the deuce. Then Mitch Gervais, baseline 66-51. Madison, the victory. They are 11-1 on the season. Key game in Southern B, Lisbon hosting Mountain Valley. Will Sorensen pulls up for three. Mountain Valley up two after three. Lisbon comes back. Lucas Francis finds Sean Scott for the lane. Greyhounds take the lead. Back and forth we go. Cam Gadboy for three. Falcons take a 46-43 lead, under four to go. But with two and a half left, game tied off the inbounds. Jonas Sauter finds Henry Doyle. Greyhounds take the lead, and they hold on for good 56-48. They are six and five. St. Dom's hosting Socopee Valley. Third quarter action, Sam Rines takes it to the hoop. St. Dom's up by 13, but Socopee storms back. Michael Murphy splits the defenders for the nice lane. Then Brandon Sloan does the same. Goes left to right. 35-34, Socopy the road win. Down the road at CMCC, Rangeley took on Seacoast Christian. The Guardians on the fast break. Jet Archer to Caleb Lacroix for the lay-in. Other way for Rangeley, Carl Trafton drives, gets the tough shot to go down inside, but Seacoast too much. Lacroix gives off to Marwin Bernardo for two. 55-34, Seacoast now 7-5 on the year. On the girls' side, B-South playoff race looks to be one of the tightest in the state. Yarmouth and Wells in the mix playing tonight in Yarmouth. Clippers up 25-10 going into the third. Wells rallies. Allison O'Brien banks the three. Then Megan Schneider off the inbounds play. 10-0 Warriors run. We have a five-point game. But Sarah Diapolonia answers for the Clippers. The fast break lay-in, 30-22, Yarmouth after three. In the fourth, Clementine Blaschke takes over. She gets the friendly bounce at home, and then some nice work inside. She had eight in the quarter, 42-30, Yarmouth the win. Both teams are seven and four. All right, SMAA matchup, Noble at Deering. Noble, six freshmen on the varsity. The future is bright, but futures now for Deering. Delaney Haynes at the end of the second gets the runner to go. She had 16 for Noble, Sam Kucher. Finishes in the lane, but Deering too strong in this one. 51-23, the Rams with the victory at home. Unbeaten Booth Bay at Winthrop this evening. Ramblers down 19 in the third, looking to rally. Caitlin Perkins a steal, and nice move for two. Other way, Sydney Meter, great interior pass to Paige Brown for two. And Brown doing all kinds of things tonight. 58-35, Booth Bay. The win, uh, Booth Bay is 12-0. Elsewhere, Mountain Valley Conference. Halldale hosting Mount Abram. All things going Mount Abram's way. Lindsey Huff misses. Alora Ross there for the 
the basket. Then Summer Ross misses, and Megan Sorrell is there for the nice follow. 49-34, Mount Abram with a victory tonight. Wayne Fleet hosting NYA girls this evening. For NYA, freshman Katie Larson pushing it, gets bumped and fouled. And how's that go in? Off glass. For the Flyers, Izzy Burdick counters at the other end with a short jumper. 45-40, Wayne Fleet with the victory. All right, back to Auburn for the St. Dom's and Socopy girls. First quarter, Chloe Dwinell to Caroline Gastonway for the hoop and the foul. Saints up five. Hawks respond with the 9-0 run. Net Humphrey drains the three. Then Bethany Demmer shows off the low post moves. 40-37, Socopy with the victory tonight. Rangeley also went over Seacoast Christian. That right there is Hoops 8. Thanks for watching. Roger's back with more.